Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Mike with this month's Catholic T-shirt club unboxing video. Da, 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 da. Trusty knife. Preach the gospel at all times. When necessary, use shirts. Because again, as Mark Twain observed, clothes do in fact make the man. Naked people have very little influence in society. Dun, 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 dun. September 2020. Saint Therese of Lisieux. Read this first. A look inside your box. A monthly reflection. Catholic quotes and more. This month's t-shirt. Saint Therese t-shirt. What a beautiful reminder. Praise God that we are made for him and made to be with him forever. St. Therese's quote reminds us of this truth. The world is thy ship and not thy home. The waves may be high, the sea might seem to be against us, but God always remains in control until we are with him at home in heaven. There are a variety of quotes from the great doctor of the church. <sighs> Confession. I've never yet read The Story of a Soul. I really should get around to that, and one day I will, but I read very, very slowly. I get distracted by things like YouTube videos, and so the queue is getting longer all the time. More and more books keep getting added to it, and I'm adding books more quickly than I'm reading them. But I should prioritize The Story of a Soul, because a lot of St. Therese quotes come off as kind of saccharine, but we know from her life that she was pretty hardcore. So, I should read her spiritual wisdom. But until then, I've got a lot of swag to look at. We have... Bum -ba -da -dum -bum -ba, a lovely plastic bag containing... St. Therese Charm, for someone with a much smaller wrist than mine. I'll perhaps find a distaff acquaintance. Perhaps someone in the range of a child. Yes, yes. Although, elastic. But I'd probably destroy that putting it over my hand. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Plus, a reminder. As Nate did a Make It Monday many moons ago of a St. Therese tool to count the good deeds that we do. And perhaps, if she's feeling up to it, Jess will search in the archives and put a link to it. But if there's not a link up there, don't blame Jess. I didn't give her a lot of warning. Also, a St. Therese medal. Fantastic. And the St. Therese prayer card to add to the Rolodex. Prayer to St. Therese. O oh Lord Jesus, who has said... Unless you become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to walk in the footsteps of thy blessed Virgin Therese, with a humble and single heart, that we may attain to everlasting rewards. You who live and reign, world without end. Amen. Because that's what the saints do for us. They are, they're many things. They are our brothers and sisters, they are friends, they're great intercessors on our behalf, but they're also great examples. They did it before us, ordinary men and women, just like we are. And with the grace of God, they became the great saints, including St. Therese. And now, because it is the Catholic T-shirt club, not the Catholic swag club, and I say that every month because I enjoy saying it. <sighs> the world is thy ship, and not thy home. The world is a great place. The world is a wonderful thing. But this world, as we see it, as all of us have experienced it, is marred, is defaced by our sin and the sins of others. So the world, as we see it today, this is not our home. Sacred Scripture makes very clear that our true citizenship is in heaven. Now, of course we know there will be a new heaven and a new earth. But, again, in the new earth, 
there is no sun because the Lord himself is all the light that we need. This world, with its beauty and its trouble, with its wonder and its woe, this world is not our home. And so, Christians, do not live for this world. Do not conform yourself to this world, but let your minds be renewed and transformed by the Lord. Live for your true homeland. Live, not for this world, because this world, again, this isn't home. None of this is going to last. This world is thy ship and not thy home. Now, of course, we have to take good care of our ship because, well, it's you know, what keeps us afloat. But far, far too many Christians live as if this is all there is, when this, this is just a passing shadow. This is as glorious as the world is. Again, the Lord took a look at his creation and said, it is very good. But this, this is nothing compared to the glory that awaits us when all is made well in the Lord in the fullness of his revelation. So until then, amidst the troubles of this world, amid the waves, amid the pandemic, amid the panic, amid the persistence of injustice, which is maddening, remember that the world is thy ship and not thy home. And Sound quality shouldn't really be affected because I'm using my headphones and the microphone is still the same distance from my mouth, even though you can't see it. I'm sorry, that's just me having a little bit of fun. <sighs> Especially enjoying the, you know, sailing here on the bark of Peter. I enjoy all naval imagery. <sighs> pull on the cord and pull the camera. You. My fellow human being, my fellow Christian. Or, if you're not, welcome aboard. And if you know, the church is not picky. All people are meant to belong to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. All people are meant for union with Christ. But you, my fellow citizen, my fellow human, my fellow Christian, have to do, have to wear clothes. This is a good thing, especially as the weather gets colder. And... Most of the time, those clothes are going to bear a message. So it is your choice what kind of a message you're going to send. Are you going to promote a sports team owned by a billionaire who may or may not be contributing to things you don't like? Are you going to advertise just a brand to, go to help somebody else rake in those ducats? Or... Are you going to give people a reminder of eternity with what you wear in your daily life? Not my place to tell you how to spend your money. You are free to make those decisions yourself. But there are a lot worse ways to evangelize. I mean, we have an entire series on ineffective of evangelization. There are a lot worse ways to evangelize than through the use of clever Christian t-shirts. So, preach the gospel at all times. Use shirts when necessary. And until next time, until next month's unboxing, although, again, we'll have many videos between now and then, remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love. This world is thy ship and not thy home. St. Therese, pray for us. Bye now.